I've been a cable car gripping for uh, 21 years. I'm a third generation. My grandfather worked at Presidio. He worked street cars over Presidio for 34 years. And I had my dad, he worked at street cars over in Green Division for 27. So I guess you could say it's in the blood. Come on in. Have a seat and hold on. I like it because I'm, I'm standing up, I'm outside, still have a roof over my head. And I see all kinds of people. Yeah, you catch up to people that you uh, you know from the past, you know, went to school with, people that you worked with other jobs or did something military or something. It's kind of weird because it's a small world, you know. Like I said, what do people do when they come to San Francisco? They ride a cable car. California line starts in the financial district. People are coming down from Knob Hill. What the cable car does is pick people up, takes them to work, takes them up the hill. There still is no other device that will conquer these hills in a transit mode better than a cable car. These famous hills in San Francisco, nobody wanted to live up here because you had to climb up here. With the invention of the cable car, these hills became accessible. Andrew Halliday came to California and his family owned the patents for steel rope. He watched several horses dragged to their death trying to pull an overloaded horse car up the hill. Cable cars were invented in San Francisco to solve the particular transportation problems of 19th century San Francisco with its unique vertically challenged terrain. We're still using cars that are a century old. You know, the old standby cable car for a city like this with hills is the most unique thing because it's still going. It was a good design back then and it's a good design now. A lot of the cars that come in here to be refurbished are at the point where if we don't do something now, it's going to be worse later. The cable cars are built the same as they were back in the, in the late 1800s and we use um, a little more modern machinery. We haven't changed a thing from how they're building them, it's just how we get there. It's a time-consuming job and we, we go more for, for the quality than the production. We all take a lot of pride in our work and, and it shows in the end product. California line, it's, 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 it's mostly locals. The commuters in the morning, yeah, I see a lot of the same people all, every morning, pretty much so. Well, we don't have as many tourists on the California line as you would do on the Mason and the Hyde. Tourists and stuff, they, they mostly want to go to Chinatown. So we're coming up to Grand Street, Chinatown. Since 1957, we are the only city in the world that still runs cable cars. These cars right here are part of the national park system. In the early 1960s, they became the first rolling national monument in United States history. The entire way cities are put together and the way cities spread changed with the invention of the cable car. People know in San Francisco, first thing they think about is, let's go ride a cable car. <laughs> 